Now, let's talk about making a food budget. The USDA claims the average person spends anywhere from $150 to $350 on food each month. Setting aside money for food is a unique budget to make. F- food, for one, is a necessity, but it can also be a lot of overspending that takes place. With any budget, you need to set aside money to meet your needs while giving yourself a little extra just in case. You should divide your food budget into eating out, groceries, and food delivery. Now, there's no shame in going out to eat, so don't feel guilty if you do. People need to be social. It's an enjoyable experience. You may want to go out and meet with a few friends and, you know, in the monitor situation, of course. It's a very important part of your mental health to have a good balance, right? Many people will go out to eat, to blow off steam, network with colleagues, or just to date, you know? It's a necessary part of your food budget. However, it's very easy, as with anything, to overspend if you go out to eat more often than you should. So just make sure you're not overdoing it. Another thing is grocery shopping. It's all about buying the right amount of food. So stay away from name brand foods if you can. Buying store brand can give you a similar quality product at a lower price. Now, in a past life, my very first job was doing Lego. So I actually worked in a factory and I saw that a lot of the packaging that goes into the name brands that that don't, it's really the same thing, but it's just different packaging, different branding, different pricing. So keep that in mind. Also, try to plan out a few meals per week and buy the ingredients specifically for those meals. Having a set list of food will help you avoid any unnecessary spending. Now, if you're a bit busier person and you don't have a lot of time to grocery shop, simply buy your food online. Most stores have delivery options now, and the more you spend, the lower the delivery costs get, right? Getting your groceries delivered can help you avoid eating out too much as well. Food delivery is also another way that people end up spending too much money on food. Mind you, delivery fees are extra costs that add up on the final price. So getting your food delivered is a necessity in the pandemic, but just make sure that you balance and you budget correctly. This is where the budget comes in. Overall, as with anything, it's okay to do it, but make sure it fits your budget. Any way you splurge or you overspend will get you in trouble no matter what it is. So just keep that in mind. 